Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Merry Christmas. Today is Friday. It is Christmas Eve and I'm just about to head out to go to a candlelight service at our church. But as usual, I'm going to jump on and make a quick video for you guys to say Merry Christmas and to thank you for all of your support. It has been an amazing year. I am just so in awe of the support and the reach out from you guys, the, the encouragement, the kindness. So I did want to make this video and say thank you to everybody and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays for whatever holiday you celebrate. I hope your day is filled with friends and fun, family, and of course, good food. So for this video, I'm just going to give you a few pieces I recently picked up. So it's kind of like a haul video. These are items that I either picked up by mistake and it turned out to be a happy mistake or their items that I knew about and I grabbed. So we're going to get right into it so I can be on time for once and I'm going to show you this first item that I saw. Now this was kind of like a happy mistake. I was in one of the Goodwills and as usual when my carts are full and I'm done filling that cart I will grab a sheet or a blanket out of the linen section most likely something I'm going to purchase anyway and I throw it over my cart to kind of keep other people out of looking in my cart. So I did share in the list video that when people want to look in my cart, I always welcome them as long as they're not, you know, stealing things out of my cart. Sometimes I share what I've found because there is such abundance. But this time I went over to the linens rack. Now this isn't a big Goodwill and I grabbed what my eye liked. That's how I just pick something. You know, I say, oh, that looks good. I'll use that to cover my cart. And what I grabbed was a great find. So I'm going to show it to you. So I saw this kind of peachy apricot wool blanket. I knew it was wool just from looking at. It's an open weave that has a fringe end. And I said, wow, that looks good. That looks like quality. So a lot of times when I grab something, in other words, to cover the cart, I'm trying to pick something that I might buy anyway, instead of just grabbing any old sheet. And when I touched it, I knew it was a beautiful item. This is Farabo. So I'm going to show you the label. That's what that looks like. Farabo blankets can bring very good money. And while this one is a little bit plain, I think the plaid ones or the patterned ones do better. This was a phenomenal find for $2.50. So it says world class. Uh, what does that say? I don't have my glasses. Where are my glasses? Hang on, I'll get my glasses. Okay, these days I can't do anything without the readers. It's just awful. World class Bedwear by Farabo, F-A-R-I-B-O, 100% pure new luster wool made in Great Britain. And Farabo is the name, I believe, of the blanket, but this is by Farabault, F-A-R-I-B-A-U-L-T. So I'm going to show that to you again. Let me get rid of the glasses. Hopefully the camera will pick up. So here I'm going to try to insert a few sold comps so we can see what we're talking. But at $2.50, beautiful condition, I grabbed it. Now, you do have to be careful for um, moth damage. And this one, even though it's in beautiful condition, has tiny, tiny moth damage. I think it's two threads, which that shouldn't be, you know, a big deal. I will report back on Instagram, Lavender Clothesline, what this blanket brings. All right, let's take a look at item number two. So item number two is, I believe, this is a men's sweater, navy blue. Again, the minute I saw it, I had never heard of this name before, but I saw it as quality. This is Demi Lee, D-E-M-Y-L-E-E, -E -E, New York. And I'm going to show you the tag again. I had never heard of Demi Lee. I don't know if I'm saying that right, right? That's how we would pronounce it, Demi Lee. And I wound up finding, I think, eight pieces in this brand. So I said, huh, I have never heard of that, but what do I go by? The quality of the item and the quality of the tag itself. And I knew that it was a really nice tag, very well sewn. Like when you find high-end clothing, the tag will always be sewn beautifully. It will not have like wonky stitching or any of that. So I did grab this sweater and seven other pieces. The next piece is the same brand. We'll take a look at that one. Okay, so this one's hard not to keep for myself. Beautiful cashmere beige woman's sweater. 
and I'm always cold. Cashmere keeps you so warm. So again, this is Demi Lee New York, extra small. That'll never fit, especially after the holidays. Off the top of my head, I'm going to guess probably between 30 and 35 a sweater if they are in perfect condition. I haven't done anything to this stuff yet because I've been taking quieter, more relaxing days because the holidays are here. Even though I am working during the holiday because I'm taking off in January, my days are more relaxed. I'm not thrifting as much and I have not processed this. So if you see anything that you like in this little haul, just know that these things will not be listed till after the holidays. All right, let's take a look at the next step. Item. The next item, I know this brand, Tumi, T-U-M-I. It is a gorgeous knapsack or backpack, messenger bag, probably the most accurate is messenger bag. Tumi is a brand that you always want to comp. I have sold Tumi bags for, I think the highest one I got was $350, $350. And usually I pay five or six dollars. Let me see if the, if the price is still in here. Um, I don't see the price. I might have taken it out because this was in the pickup a couple of days before the sweaters. And yeah, I'm not seeing it. I think I paid $4.99 for the bag. What do I expect to get for this? I'm going to say well over $100. Tumi is just a gorgeous quality company. And you can see how Tumi is written right there. Hopefully that will show. Gorgeous condition. I mean, it's pre-owned, but it looks great, very clean, very happy to find this bag. Okay, so this is gonna be the airplane quilt that I found because so many of you are messaging me about it that you wanted a better look at it. So we're gonna take a look at this. I did show it in the haul one video ago, two videos ago, something like that, when I was in the store. So I did like a little mini haul in the store, just kind of talking about the items I was finding. And I bought this off of my friend Vince. Now Vince does a lot of sourcing in the outlet, which is the bins, which is next door to the Goodwill on Route 30. He is a flea market seller, and we always take a look at what is in each other's carts. He has become a great friend over the years. I always have a good time, we joke around, and I see what he's selling. A lot of times I offer him money for something that he's gonna bring to the flea market, and he has just bought the item. He hasn't done anything to it. Not that Vince really washes his items, I don't think he does, but when I saw the quilts in his cart, I was like, hey, what do you got there? And he had three quilts, and this one caught my eyes. So this is a handmade quilt. You know what, I'm gonna open it up a little bit more so you really can get the full, the full effect. And when I saw the quilt, one of the things I loved about it was that the opposite reverse pattern is a map, world, the world map. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Somebody handmade all of this and there is an inscription um, a little patch where the maker signed it and uh, dedicated it to the person she made it for. 2015, so not vintage. And the blanket or the quilt does have a little bit of damage. I am actually going to try to sit one evening while I watch a movie, I know, and uh, kind of tack down the areas where the applique of the plane has come off a little bit. But let's see if I can figure out which way this goes. Okay, glasses again, glasses, glasses. This whole glasses thing is really a pain. All right, so here is Ready for Takeoff. The woman who made this titled the quilt, and that is the patch she sewed on. So again, I have not washed this yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on it first, tacking down the areas that are a little bit loose. Let me find one of those areas for you. See this right here? The piece is coming off. So I'm hopefully gonna be able to tack down any areas. All the material is there. When you look at quilts, that's a really important thing to look at. If the item has damage, is the material there to sew it back down? Or is it just sometimes the quilts are really old and the material is rotted away? Not to say that they're not valuable. Some older quilts are hugely valuable. I have seen, not in person, online, quilts from the Civil War and they were so threadbare and they still brought crazy good money. So when I see a quilt that's really this good, this much work, I say yes to it, especially if I can put a little bit of time into it and get it to a sellable condition 
and then I will wash it delicate cycle line dry I never dry quilts in my dryer all right let's take a look at the next item this next item I saw on the lingerie rack where the pajamas are and I was like oh my goodness I want that if it's in good condition I'm gonna stand back and show you what it is So this is a crinoline slip that a bride would wear when she wants to really have a full ball gown. You can also use it in cosplay. I know people that attend or work at Renaissance Fair look for these. And this is a slip put out by Sydney Bush, B-U-S-H original, 100% uh, nylon, $4.50, very nice condition. It has a little bit of, I'm gonna call it floor dirt, from where the person wore it, but minuscule, really small amount. And the reason I love this is look at the amount of tool. This thing will make your dress crazy big. But the great thing is they're light, so you do have to pack them down and kind of sit on them a little bit. I will always ship these in boxes because you need to have your packaging containing this. This is one of those things that when you open the box, it grows very quickly. So I love finding these. I do not sell a lot of slips. I do vintage slips, you know, especially the one, the full slip to the knee, if they're beautiful lace from France. Uh, what other kind of slips? I'm trying to think. I do pantaloons, things like that. I sell those. Okay, got interrupted by a telephone call. So what was I saying? Um, slips, vintage slips, pantaloons I pick up. Uh, what are the kind of slips? I think that's it. I go through the lingerie section really quick. What I am picking up are very well-made robes, pajamas by high-end companies. This is all pre-owned and slips, the majority of them, either for weddings or for, I'm going to say theater, cosplay, things like that. All right, guys, sorry for the quick little video, but I did want to jump on, like I said, and say Merry Christmas to all of you. Happy holidays. And to thank you once again for all of your continued support, for letting my channel just grow and grow. I appreciate you guys. And as always, go out and get what's yours.